Hello, everybody. My name is Helium Lemon Fifteen, and today is February Fourteenth, Valentine's Day, and we are back here with Let's Play Mist. Oh no! You can see my Mac turning up the volume. What a tragedy. So, welcome to the age I decided to do first. So, it has only been a couple months since I played this game, and I'm already confused by extremely stupid things, but we're getting there. I like the sound of the waves. This is very nice. The lighting is done very well on this kind of thing. Um, I don't know, I, I was just kind of, I was clicking around, looking around, being like, hey, what do I do here? The mechanical age, I'm doing it first because it's like, it's, it's like stupidly simple. Um, there's not even a puzzle, um, but there is kind of a puzzle, but it's not like a real puzzle in the way that the other ages have a puzzle. And because it has a clue that ties in with another age, which is interesting because none of the other ages have like clues that tie in to each other, but... You know, you do want to do this before you do Selenitic, or as I call it, Spaceship Age. So here we have a Fortress Rotation Simulator, which doesn't actually rotate the fortress, but it's just a simulator. And it shows you how to rotate the fortress, which is not immediately apparent. So you hear like a sound, and it's like a plunk, it's like a cowbell. So now you know that cowbell means south. And you hear boing. You hear kind of a boinky sound. So you, it like, boink means east. So what you have to do with, like, the levers is you kind of have to uh, release the left one. And the left one is kind of the lock, or like, you know, releasing the brakes. And then the right one is the one that actually turns it. But you can pretty much release the right one at any point, and it'll still land on either north, east, west, or south. Which, it must have some kind of mechanism that snaps it into place. You know, you can't, you can't turn the fortress to, like, northeast or northwest or something. Um, you'll notice that these two rooms are very different, and they have different music, which I always thought was really cool. Um, and it's kind of this ongoing story of how the two brothers have these two very different personalities. So, the brothers are trying to get you to decide, like, oh no, I'm the good one, don't trust him, he's the bad one. Um, here I am, here I am forgetting that that's only a, a simulator. I'm like, oh, did I rotate the fortress? No, you didn't rotate the fortress. I'm already forgetting how this game works, it's kind of embarrassing. Very interesting ambience, because it's just like this kind of looming tone, and then, um, I mean, you get the music, and this is like sort of Cirrus' theme, and Cirrus, Cirrus is like very royal and very regal, he, he has this portrait of himself as a king, which I don't think I've actually clicked on the portrait yet, there it is, there's Cirrus as a king, um, which... I mean, honestly, if you look at it closely, it looks like a kind of crappy Photoshop insertion of, of uh, Robin Miller's face into a Renaissance painting, but, uh, it, it, or Baroque painting, but it's fine. It's cool nonetheless. Um, there's a spaceship, there's a ship that's, you know, referencing to the two of the other ages, the Stone Ship Age and the Selenitic Age, which are ages that the brothers explored. Oh, and then here's Akinar's room. Akinar's room is cool because it's all like brutalistic and savage, and he has like these leopard prints and like the, this. Uh, uh, Cirrus has like a royal throne, and Akinar just has like a wooden chair because he's like. Um, he has a scythe and he has a war helmet, and he's like a war, and he has like a, a head, and he has this, all this cool stuff. I was trying to find where the pages were, but for the life of me, I couldn't. I think I did eventually find Akinar's page, but I, I was too stupid to find Cirrus's page. You can't get in there. You have to figure out how to open up that, like, elevator door. 
So there are these stairs that go down. And you have to rotate this. Now, I was stupid. I was like, oh, is this how you rotate the fortress? No, that's not how you rotate the fortress. That's how you rotate the elevator so that you can get into the elevator. Anyway, I'll stop. I'm not stupid. I will stop yelling at myself. And this is awkward. I need to figure out how to get my charger. Or else, or maybe I'll be able to do the rest of this episode. Yeah. I'll be able to keep going. It's not like it's going to run out of me. Yes, here we are back out here. So yeah, it's kind of, it's very fitting because the mechanical age is all about gears and it's about like figuring out how to rotate things. So you have to figure out how to rotate this elevator so that you can get into it. So basically, when it turns red is a hint for that's the way it's supposed to be lined up. And you want to let, let it line up and then close that stairway and then get in the elevator. And once you get in the elevator, can ride the elevator. Hooray! Now we will be riding this elevator a lot, so I will be mashing the escape key a lot to just, like, make the cutscene go by quicker. Even though it is a nice cutscene, I do like elevator riding cutscenes. Oh, you can look on top of the elevator and see that there's some kind of control panel. So this middle button lets you get outside of the elevator and see the control panel that's on top of it. And it's the same as the for Fortress Rotation sim Simulator, except it doesn't have a sound. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to release the other lever so that I could hear the sound, so that I could know which way the fortress was rota uh, facing. It's fine. Like I said, this is not going to be a, a perfect let's play, this is just going to be me talking about like my experience with the game, which has been really cool. Um, I really got into these games uh, because of... Um, a YouTuber named Jordan Rogers. Uh, his videos have gotten pretty popular, and he's done Mist 1, 2, 3, and 4, which there's a whole story about, like, oh, the Mist series, like, the first two were developed by the Miller Brothers, but then it got really popular, and they wanted to make more, but the Miller Brothers didn't want to be the developers. So, like, Ubisoft developed one of them, and somebody else developed the other one, and... And then they made a Mist game that was MMO called Uru the Complete Chronicles. Um, which is a whole thing. So, left lever, right lever, release right lever. You don't even need to have it up for that long. Just put it back down already. And then... See, I was waiting for the sound, but you need to release the left le lever to hear the sound. So come on, release the le left lever. Why can't I say left lever? It's like, I was like so confused. Why am I, I was like, oh, I literally just had to release the left lever. Cowbell is south. And then we have a uh, piston is east, and then plink is north, and and trill is west. I'm basically calling them the same things that Jordan did. It's funny. And I remember like just watching his videos. Like he has like a whole like face cam in the corner, and like he's talking about the games and how how you're supposed to think about the puzzles. And I remember those were really relaxing. And I remember, you know, like, you know, I'm at this point of my life where it's kind of a scary point in my life because I moved to this new 
place and like I'm going to this new school and it's kind of scary um but I remember I was I would like really look forward to coming home and like watching his videos so it's been kind of nice I don't know if you're out there Jordan Rogers but like you kind of helped me through this new year of school it's been pretty cool And it's funny because I've had the chance to meet Thomas Dolby, like the guy who wrote She Blinded Me With Science, and the guy who's, I don't know, just done a lot of interesting things. He, 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 I was mistaken, he's not the person who founded Dolby Audio, but he has done some interesting things with just like um, audio technology, I guess you could say. That's North. Um, but he, he also, like, he knows about Mist and stuff like that. I mean, he's older than me, and this game came out before my I was born, so I'm kind of not surprised that he knows it. But, like, he did music for a couple CD-ROM games that were that came right after Mist and were, like, very inspired by it. Like, he did... I know he did a couple of them. Two of them are The Dark Eye and Obsidian. And I was like, oh yeah, well I really like Mist. And he was like impressed that I knew Mist because Mist came out before I was born. And I'm like, oh, I love Mist. I love Mist and Riven. And he's like, oh, I don't know Riven. And I'm like, Riven is the sequel to Mist. Riven is like one of the most beautiful computer games ever made. And I still stand by that. And I have it on Steam and I can't wait to play it. So the, basically the whole puzzle of the Mechanical Age, besides getting the pages, is rotating the tower to north and then rotating the tower to east. And that's how you get the puzzle solution. Uh, and then you're supposed to input that on the main island. Um, and those four symbols will be the... Uh, the key, the, the solution that opens up the way back to Mist Island. Oh my god, I'm suddenly craving cranberry juice right now. I'm just thirsty. It's like, it's, it's technically, it's almost two in the afternoon, but I had a late night last night, so like, I rolled out of bed like an hour or two ago, and I'm like thirsty. But last night was fun. We, I basically just like drove around Maryland with my girlfriend, went to the Ellicott City, uh, H-Mart, the H-Mart in Ellicott City, I went to a few different bubble tea places, actually went to one, like, fried chicken place, and one, like, Korean fried chicken place, and went to one bubble tea place. Korean fried chicken place was so-so, the bubble tea place was quite good, though, I would definitely go back there. Um, Akinar's room is like the torture chamber so he's got all these different poisons and he's got like a an electrical cage um it's too bad that my um computer uh, like has gone into battery saver mode because now it's all kind of dim but definitely turn up the brightness so it's funny because there's an art museum right by where i live and like one of the rooms kind of reminded me of just like Cirrus and Akinar's rooms from this age. And I was trying to explain it to him. I'm like, well, oh, Cirrus and Akinar. I said, I said like, Atris by mistake. And I'm like, well, no, Atris is the dad. Cirrus and Akinar are the brothers. And Mist, Mist is a really cool looking game. And it has like these secret chambers with like all these paintings. And yeah, now I just have to figure out how to rotate the fortress back to south. So, south is Cowbell, so... So that's, the Plink is north. Oh, I got a fire truck in the recording. That's fun. Cowbell is south. Nice, very nice. I didn't even have to know Cowbell is south, I was just like, I just need to rotate it twice after 
after I head north. So yeah, those sounds are the same exact sounds that are going to be hints in the spaceship age slash selenitic age, which is cool because I like how this this age is all about kind of like rotation and working with uh, working with mechanical systems. Selenitic is all about sounds, so that's why it's not my favorite, but it's cool. I think I'm going to be doing the ages in order of increasing order of increasing favoritism, if that makes sense. So this is probably my least favorite. It's still cool, but it's my least favorite. I do like Cirrus and Akinar's rooms, though. I like the, all the portraits. And now we just get to hear this epic music for a while. And admire this little room that's sole purpose is to hold the mist book. Very heroic, very epic pizzicato strings. So we got a blue page. And we bring the blue pages. I don't know, that's not a very good Akinar voice. And let's see what Akinar has to say. Which you returned. You returned. I'm Akina. I'm Akina. My brother, I beg you. Always the blue pages. Listen to him. Okay, buddy. I listen to my brother. And a liar. Something about how he hates his brother. His brother's a liar. Don't get the red ones. Only the blue pages. Stay away from the red pages. Only get the blue pages. So I'll see you in the next episode of Mist. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Goodbye.